Hey guys, we're finally back. We went to the NMRA World Finals. It's the All Ford World Finals in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Saw some really awesome Thunderbirds, Mustangs, everything you can think of. They had a Ford powertrain in it was down there. Super awesome time. I'm going to show you some cool clips here in just a minute, plus footage of Cletus McFarland doing the most awesome burnout I've ever seen. Hang on in just a second, we'll get to that. First, I have a couple little things to mention about the Jeep Gladiator. Uh, first of all, that recall on the drive shaft, uh, they have announced that October the 18th is the day that they're going to send out information. So they're going to mail letters or send things to the dealers or whatever the case might be. They're going to publicly uh, send out the info on October the 18th. So if you got a Gladiator that was built before that date cut off, June 25th or whatever it was, uh, be watching your mailbox because in October you may get your recall notice in the mail and it will of course have more information. The other thing is, if you remember the video I did about the things I don't like about the Gladiator, one of them was the trailer brake controller is absent. They've been showing it on the website all year since they introduced the truck and yet you can't get it. They won't let you order it, it's not available, nobody knows anything about it. Well, I found out today from an SCA rep that the estimated timing on this is going to be the end of quarter four or maybe the beginning of quarter one 2020. So basically what that means is this coming holiday season, sometime around Christmas or maybe the new year, sometime in that ballpark, you will finally be able to order the factory trailer brake controller for the Jeep Gladiator. Now, obviously, I'm assuming that that means that the dealers will also be able to order the parts. So if you have a Gladiator like me and you don't have the trailer brake controller, I'm assuming you'll be able to order that from them at that point in time and either install it yourself or have them install it. Some guys asked, why are you so hell-bent on getting the factory when there's so many aftermarket options? Um, well, typically, and I don't know that this is going to be the case with a Gladiator, but typically the OE trailer brake controllers have more features. Obviously they're integrated with the vehicle computer and they give you more features and more options. They recognize when you've hooked a trailer onto the truck and a lot of different features and functions of the truck will change. Um, so it's just a better integration. And a lot of guys just like to have that, you know, factory feel to their equipment, especially when you got a brand new truck that costs that much money. So Anyhow, that's a little update on that, so some stuff coming down the line there, but uh, without yapping anymore, I'm going to show you some cool clips from the NMRA World Finals. It was a great show this year. They changed up some things. We saw uh, the original Bigfoot monster truck. My son loved it. You know, Cletus McFarland had a uh, neighbor, his project, uh, Crown Vic, down there, and um, they had drifting competitions, obviously drag racing all kinds of stuff going on. It was a great show this year. Had a blast. If you guys haven't been, you need to go and check it out. But for now, here's a clip of Cletus McFarland, our favorite redneck, wearing out a set of tires on his GT500 powered Crown Vic. Thanks for watching guys and we will familiar with our grand champion format. The vehicles that are here running on the autocross, the majority of them are running in the grand champion competition and that means they will run here on the autocross. It is time for some tire smoke. Let me hear you scream. gets toward the time limit, the driver won't be able to hear the horn, and then they'll do a longer burnout, I'm just saying. 
All media, I need you on the other side of the white wall. Remember, other side of the white wall, boys and girls. Step over the wall. Yeah, get your ass over the white Don't wall. Don't be Chad. Yeah, yeah. Be on the other side of the white wall. I'll make a big fat hood on him. Are you ready for tire smoke? Like I said, it was an awesome show. Tons of fun. You guys need to go if you haven't been. Now, after that last clip, I can't tell you what happened. Uh, let's just say everybody left the parking lot, went down to Mexico, had a little fun racing. And uh, unfortunately, the night ended on a sad note because somebody got hurt and they kind of uh, put a damper on the whole thing. It's unfortunately, one of the risks of heading down to Mexico for some uh, fun, but... It was a great show, though, other than that, and um, like I said, it was just a real blast to see Cletus. My son loved it. It's one of those things where you could take the whole family and have a great time, not spend a whole lot of money, so I highly recommend it, especially if you're into Ford Mustangs or anything Ford, NMRA World Finals in Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's where you need to be next year, guys, all right? So... Now we're headed into October. The Mach 1's been uh, a lot of fun, but uh, we're going to be winding down. This month is the last two car shows on the schedule for the season, and then we'll be putting the old girl back in the barn again. And uh, so Jeep Gladiator's going to start racking up some more miles. 
Still planning on doing a camping trip. Got to get my eggs uh, and all in the right basket and uh, if I figure out what we're going to do exactly and uh, get my buddy to uh, make some solid plans to go with us. So look forward to some more Jeep Gladiator stuff uh, later this fall. I still want to get the truck out, try out the winch, you know, get it out on the trails and see what it'll really do. I really want to do that. So that's probably the next project is to get out there in the woods and see what the Gladiator is really capable of. So uh, anyhow, going to wrap it up, guys. Just wanted to show you that because it was a real blast this weekend. Hey, you guys enjoy the rest of your week and stay tuned for some more cool footage. Thanks.